attraction to Broadway really came about because the buildings are so ornate and opulent that I was focusing on more industrial, simple architecture at the time and I really wanted to get playful and Broadway is kind of the definition of playful. These architects took international design concepts and ornamental concepts and mashed them all together into something that's completely Los Angeles. So this building here is the Million Dollar Theater and on the side of it there are longhorn skulls and buffalo heads and just very California southwestern features in this Baroque, ornate styling. One of the reasons I became interested in downtown is partly because my family's been in Los Angeles for five generations. As I went through my world, I had discovered that more and more people had no idea that Los Angeles had a downtown and a historic district. The gold leaf is a nice contrast to the texture of the linen. When I use alloys, copper particularly, I'm able to patina it and get various colors and aging techniques and expedite the patina on the surface of the painting. So it gives me a whole other layer of technique and texture to achieve. What I like about this spot is that you can get up higher on the work. So much of the ornamentation is towards the top of the buildings. And, you know, the light casts really nicely. There are bear heads on the front of this building that you can kind of see from the ground, but not so well. So this is the Palace Theater over here, and I was pleased to be able to get this view on it. Um, if you look through those arched windows, you can see some light coming through the angled lines. Sometimes people look at my work and think of it as being nostalgic or, or just representational of historic architecture. Really how I see it is a way of connecting with something that's here and now. And you're surrounded by all this bustle and this activity and this history that's there and present right now. It really inspired me to start looking at my immediate environment and figuring out ways to connect with it. So that's why in my paintings I take apart buildings, they're not just paintings of buildings, I take them apart and I put them back together into what is the spirit of a place or a sense of a place with elements of architecture in it. toasted linen. I like the nature of collaborating with materials that have a lot of personality and techniques that have a lot of personality and the fire definitely has that. Sometimes it burns a hole where I hadn't intended there to be one. It's a very textile centric technique. So the fact that I'm working on the subject of Broadway right now in some ways feels slightly arbitrary. I'm working on it because it's historic and it's a lot of fun, but it's just another building block of all the elements that the city are built of. I am much more interested in what makes something a part of the now and why it's significant in being part of now. The mix of materials I employ, I have a really good time with, and I feel like the overall look of my work comes off somewhere between gritty and glitzy and girly and masculine, and there's a lot of contrast of materials and techniques and aesthetics in my work, and I feel like that really 
reflects my personality. The process of checking things out gets me into all these gritty, nasty, weird places, running around downtown and climbing into buildings, and I love that adventure. Well, it's linen, which is the traditional ground for oil painting. Well, one of the traditional grounds, but it's very coarse. It's really strong. It can stand up to the tests that I put it through, the rigors of the bleach and the burning and the double stretching. It means that it's a really strong textile that I can put it through a lot and it will survive. And it has a lot of character. It has a full personality all of its own. And compared to the smooth areas of paint or the glitzy areas of gold or the burnt or the bleach, it has a warm, soft, earthy tone and feel to it, and I, I like that contrast with the other materials that I use.